everyone, welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today with Thrifty Thursday, Thrifty Connects. You can check out my description box to see the lovely YouTubers who host those two collaborations. So I don't have a big haul today, but I do have a few things. So the first thing I have is this big um, vintage photo album. So this is from um, Arlington Heights Camera of Irving P. Hey, where's that? I don't know. Parker Hat Seal Patent. I don't know where that's from. 7 South Dunton Avenue. PK. That's not a U.S. state, right? There's PA. There's um, not American. Oh, goodness me. I don't think so. Anyways, who cares? It's from PK Photo Supply. It's old. It's got this lovely... um yellowy kind of uh photo paper in between so like you could stick a photo in here or back here and what i think i would like to do with these probably is um use them as kind of fun frames like the i like the paper behind so even if you had something like say a more modern photograph right um you could put it behind this paper um, and you could back it. Now I'd probably pick something that had a little more, um, kind of oomph. Because that, that pick, that photo paper is quite yellowy because it's meant to be like the glue paper so we'll see i'll see how that works but i kind of think if i don't do that i'll use without it just these as frames and then i would use that yellowy fun vellum for something else because like these are just really fun but i have to cut this all apart i have to take it out of this it's in like a it's actually a binder um these pinch and open so like you could use this as a you know a binder if you wanted to for something I probably won't because it's just a really big huge thing um, but yeah next I just got this little thing um, it's just clear acetate pillow boxes and I've seen them at the dollar store before for like you know our dollar stores aren't dollar stores anymore but this one is 50 cents because I got it on a half off day at my at my thrift store and there's three four five six of them in there and they're just little plastic pillow boxes like acetate so i think i can do something fun with them but i probably won't use them as the the pillow box that you pop it out as i'll probably use them flat for something um yeah all this stuff was 50 percent off because like i said still my my two of my local thrift stores are still doing 50 percent off because they're just overloaded i don't know why um but i definitely i finally got to like donate all the things that i've been trying to donate for three weeks or so um and like i'm kind of picky about where i donate to so um yeah i've had to wait i've had my garage just kind of hanging on to things but i finally got to get rid of it i found this fun um huckleberry finn the zodiac press i got it for the cover look at this cool cover isn't that neat it almost hurts my eyes it's like an optical illusion also a really nice label so yeah cool cover it's definitely like an optical illusion it makes my eyes fuzzy um then i found this okay so look how pretty this is okay so it came from the brooklyn framer in home service um somewhere in toronto and it's called mill pond press 35 dollars this was one dollar um for me but it's just chock full of like really nice um art just like mostly like kind of nature and like it it, it features the um the artist as well so it's just it's like a, a big fat magazine kind of all sorts of cool stuff in there and then okay this Oy, so this was 250 and it was um it, it's nice it came in this like plastic container which is um i don't know from shuts or shoots got two little clips here a big one and a little one so it's good for like holding on to things like for periodicals or something i had not it was used for just transfers so someone used it for transfers 
But the more exciting thing is that it's entirely chock full of all these Avery label things that are printable fabric. Um, and this stuff is not inexpensive. Like, so these came with three sheets. This one has all three. I don't really think any of these have been used, to be honest. This one has five sheets. It's unopened. Um, iron on transfer paper. This one. How many sheets? I don't know. 10. And it's, I think, I think it's actually maybe unopened. It feels like there's 10 in there. If they've used one, that would be something. Um, this has one sheet. But it feels like it has more. It's unopened. Oh, it's got cardboard. That's why. No, there's more than one sheet. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, like I've used these before. Maybe there's a maybe there's a process to some of these. This is a dark t-shirt transfer. Um, oh yeah, five sheets, six sheets. Oh, 12 sheets. Yeah, I'm I'm reading the. No, I don't know why it says one sheet, but yeah, there's multiple. But anyways, you see what I, I'm talking about. This is all printable fabric, t-shirt transfers. And um, they can also be used for things like journal covers or a camera. And then I found these. Um, these were 50 cents for this stack of airmail envelopes. And I just thought that these were really nice, colorful ones. I don't often see these anymore, to be honest. So I was happy to find them. Um, this was 10 cents because it was 50% off 25 cents. So the lady was like, 10 cents. And it came with these two nice clips. So this is just, you know, ledger paper. I figured I would pick it up because why not? I can always use more paper. This is actually a book for my daughter. It's um, a children's encyclopedia. Uh, you know, good science, easy to read, kind of good. Good for her in grade two. So, yeah. Um next is this and this has me pretty intrigued it's got one page torn out or something or it's a it's a large fold out i'm not sure which yeah it's a big fold out but it's the art of bev doolittle never heard of her before um but i guess she is where is she from i don't know text and poems by elise mcclay <laughs> it's nature stuff Anyways, I won't waste your time while I do research on her. I'll just get into it and show you. But, like, look at these horses standing on these snow-covered hills. Like, so cool in the way that she thought to blend that. And, like, look at this. How she did these birch trees and then horses running out of the birch trees. Like, a lot of sort of symbolism-type work. Um, interesting work. So, see, over here, right, we have a bear. We have a bear in there. You see him? It reminds me of like, I have this Japanese weird landscape. There's a close up of it um, book that does the same thing. Like it, it like camouflages. Look at those horses in the birches, right? So neat. So yeah, I, uh, I'm intrigued by this book for sure. It's got some nice fold outs. There's a blue jay and a, a deer big tree here with a horse and a man. Some goats. Some more magical kind of stuff. Hmm. It's a man in a bear suit and a horse back there following a partridge. Looks like she got some inspiration from indigenous um, people. It's a nice owl. I like the beaver looking up. He's chewed. So he's chewed this tree and the owl's up here like, uh-oh. And there you see <laughs> the detail of the, the beaver. Yeah, so pretty neat. Um, really a fun book. Gorgeous colors. It's like there's kind of 
yeah, there's faces in these landscapes. It's sort of hard to see, but hopefully you can see them there. Beautiful fox. Yeah, anyways. I need to look in here because it says keeping the magic alive. Is there anything there? Oh, that's cool. It's all the little like cards of, you know, that same horse landscape. Okay. Then, what's next? Um, this owl book called Who, written by Richard Thompson, illustrated by Martin Springett, or Springett, has sort of pointillist style illustrations in it. Really pretty. I remember I had like a Jonathan Livingston Seagull book that was illustrated sort of similarly, and I really liked working with those images. And then I found a Rainbow Bright book. Um, this will go right directly into my stash of things I'm preparing for my 80s, 90s nostalgia retro journals. So I was happy to find that one. I don't need any more stuff like that for sure. I'm like, I don't, but I couldn't say no. And I'm so beyond happy I found this book. This is a wonderful book, Julia Child, words by Kyle McClear, pictures by Julie Morstad. So it's like the telling um, of Julia Child. Like, um, it's just really, really sweet. Like it's, a, it's about a little girl who falls in love with French food and her friend and like it's just really really nice beautiful illustrations i've read this one with my daughter i got it out from the library so i don't know what i'll do with this yet i'm not 100 percent sure it might go into the into the library to keep and then i found this um i'm going to use parts of it in my curio books that i have it's homer henry hudson's curio museum now it is kind of like more of a children's obviously it's a children's book but it's it's got some cool things like look at this acorn with a keyhole and this like a ladybug dice and er uh, domino this image with this person with just glasses like there's some there's some good stuff i can use in there because the drawing style is is mature even though some of you know the dog i think is silly but a lot of what's not you know the dog is actually really good for the curio book so um yeah i'll use parts of it in there and the rest i will keep for something else but it's a really fun book so i've got to figure out how i'm going to use it um i also want to read it because it looks like it's a fun read so that's it for me today guys that's all i got i didn't get a whole bunch just just a bit and stuff that i'm probably going to use pretty quickly so that being said i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope that the thrifting fairies are with you also thank you to everyone who is new here who has joined me lately it is so nice to see you and um i will talk to you very soon bye for now